guys, this is Oksana, the host of Easy Exposure, the tutorials about photography. And in this video, we will be talking about probably the most asked question for you guys. I get emails all the time with a question, which camera shall I buy? No, I'm not going to go through all the cameras on the market, but I will guide you through some specifications you need to know about while buying the camera. Some of them might be more or less important, but when you know about them, when you understand them, you will be able to make your own decision while buying the camera. And probably the first decision you will have to make is about brand of the camera. Which brand of the camera shall I buy? And it is kind of an important decision because when you buy the camera of certain brand, you will start to buy lenses and some other accessories of this brand. And then when you want to upgrade your camera to maybe more expensive, more professional camera with more features, most likely you will be buying the camera of the same brand because you will already have accessories and lenses from this brand. Actually, about 85% of all DSLRs are produced by Nikon or Canon. The rest are made by Pentax, Olympus and Sony. And no camera brand is really much better than other. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses and you need to decide which strengths are more important to you. Often one brand can have a little bit better technology, better features, but it's usually only temporarily till the other brand catch up. And at the end of the day, remember you're the one taking the photo, not Nikon or Canon. You are taking the photo with help of Nikon or Canon, but you as photographer is the most important and whichever brand you choose, it doesn't really matter. Beside deciding on camera brand, you will also need to decide if you would like camera with full or cropped frame sensor. For example, full frame digital cameras use a sensor what is equivalent in size to 35 mm film. It is the largest sensor you can buy without moving up to truly professional and expensive gear like medium format. Full frame sensors are typically found in high-end DSLR with more features. In general, full frame cameras produce higher quality images due to higher resolution and better ISO performance. This slide shows how cropped frame sensor compare to full frame. And as you can see, the size of crop sensor is different for Nikon and Canon. Landscape photographers can really benefit from full frame since it will give you a wider field of view than crop sensor with the same lens and you can get more of the scene in the image. On the other hand, you might have heard that cropped sensor performs better if you would like to photograph something at the distance, for example, sports or nature, because it increases focal length of the lens or reach. This is actually a questionable statement, since the focal length of the lens doesn't actually grow, but you're just getting a narrower field of view due to the cropped sensor. So the subject appears closer when you compare the same image from the both cameras while using the same lens. Though you can easily crop the image from the full frame and get pretty much the same view. Whether the details and quality of the image will be the same after cropping will depend on other factors, like camera resolution for example, though in this case you need to be comparing two specific cameras. One of the disadvantages of full-frame camera could be its weight and size. Usually they are bigger and heavier. Just look at Nikon D810. It's two times heavier than D5300. Though there are some photographers who prefer heavier camera because they say it keeps them more stable. I personally prefer to use full-frame for my work, but I have my 
D5300 with me most of the time just for everyday shooting like going hiking because it's light and I can just throw it in my backpack without being too worried and too scared that something happens to it. The other advantage of cropped frame would be lenses availability, especially cheaper lenses because not every lens can be used with full frame sensor camera but most lenses can be used on crop sensor camera. So which one shall you choose? I would say if you're just starting out with photography or doing it just for fun, you'd be just fine with crop sensor. The camera companies have made a lot of major improvements to these smaller sensor models. While they may not often exactly match a full frame camera in image quality, Many cameras with crop sensor today can take beautiful pictures and are starting to really challenge a lot of full frame advantages. So you really have to compare camera to camera. Also consider the lenses availability. It all depends on the brand of the camera. Due to different mount types and sizes, it's typically impossible to mount a lens from one brand on a camera of a different brand. Canon and Nikon are more popular brands and have more lenses available than, for example, Sony, Pentax or Olympus. There are also third-party manufacturers like Sigma, Tamron and Zeiss, would make lenses for different camera mounts, including Nikon, Canon, as well as Sony, Pentax and Olympus. Actually, there is a way to use Nikon lenses on Canon body with lens adapter. There are different adapters which range in price, quality and lenses you can use with them. There are some consequences you can encounter by using adapter, but we will talk about it in separate video. On the other hand, you cannot use Canon lenses with Nikon DSLRs. In general, when it comes to Nikon and Canon, they have pretty compatible choices of lenses by availability, quality and price. And it is hard to tell which one is better as a general picture. You have to look at your needs in specific body and lens. Also keep in mind that your lens choices will also depend whether it is full frame sensor or cropped frame sensor camera. Full frame cameras cannot use lenses designed specifically for cropped sensors or they cannot use them to a full potential. Please click to watch part 2 about body and build of the camera. And don't forget to subscribe for more and follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram or go to my website easy-exposure.com.